Hey you guys, I'm back with another story. This one is kind of like a sad story. A Texas boy loses both parents to COVID-19 just months apart. He plays with his favorite toys, but at his young age, the four-year-old has already dealt with two great losses. How much do you love your mom and dad? Um... Wait, 100 seconds with one. <laughs> His mom and dad lost their battle to COVID-19 within 100 days from each other. Right, I'm being left behind. You know, it's, uh, it's very hard. His father, Adan, was exposed to the virus while at work, according to his family. He tested positive June 3rd and was hospitalized June 9th. They did say he was one of two of the sickest in the hospital. He passed June 26th after spending nearly a month in the ICU. Days and months go by. Mariah was mourning but was healthy until October 5th. She went by an ambulance Monday evening, probably around 9.30. And by 8.14 a.m. on Tuesday, she was gone. Their loss forever impacting their four-year-old son. Who says he wants to talk like him. He wants to be like him. Raiden's aunt says his mother's death has been harder on him. A couple of days ago, he said he wishes he could bring her back. But his birthday is right around the corner. 27. This is a milestone birthday. He's been very upset because, you know, his mom and dad are not here to celebrate with him. The family oh, hopes to lift his spirits with a drive through Roar and Wave Parade, lining up one of his favorites. He loves fire trucks. As Raiden and his family mourn their loss, they hope our community will do their part to slow the spread. We've lost two people now to COVID-19, and I can't emphasize enough the severity, the seriousness, and the hurt that this pandemic can cause. So wear your mask, be safe. I mean, we can't stress that enough. I didn't have to News for San Antonio. Now that's just a sad story. This story coming out of St. Antonio. A young boy in Texas. Please are coming, but Toyota-thon's already here with great year-end deals for that special summer. My bad, y'all. This thing tripping. A young boy in Texas preparing for his fifth birthday, but he has to celebrate without the two most important people in his life after both parents died from COVID-19. This COVID-19 shit is ridiculous. Like, and the numbers are going up every day. We're losing people every day. Like, we're we literally losing people every day to this damn virus. Like, I don't know if they ever come out with a cure. Like, I don't know. Raiden Ford laughs and plays with his favorite toys, but at this young age, the boy is already having to deal with two big losses. His mother... Mariah and his father, Aiden, lost their battles to COVID-19 within 100 days of each other. That is so, so sad. With Raiden being left behind, he knows it's very hard, said Raiden's grandmother, Rosie. Aiden was exposed to the virus while at work. Wow. According to his family, he tested positive June 3rd and was hospitalized on June 9th. They did said he was one of the two sickest in the hospital. He died June 26 after spending nearly a month in the intensive unit care. As months went by, Mariah was in mourning, but she was healthy. Until October 5th, she went to the hospital Monday night and died the next morning, according to her family. Oh, my God. The loss of the couple has forever impacted a four-year-old son. And that's something that he will forever, forever have to live with. Like, so sad. And they think because these kids be so young, these kids remember everything. He says he wants to talk. He wants to. He says he wants to talk like him. He wants to be like him. Rating Grant, Grant Aunt Margie. A couple of days ago, he said he wishes he can bring her back. That is just so sad. With his birthday right around the corner on November 22nd, Raiden has been upset his parents can't celebrate with him. The family hopes to lift his spirits with a drive through roller wave parade complete with fire trucks. As Raiden and his family mourn their losses, they also hope the community will do their part to slow the spread of the coronavirus. Right, wear your fucking mask, do what you gotta do, six feet apart, social distancing, whatever it takes. They are urging people to wear masks and stay safe. 
We have lost two people now, COVID-19, and I can't empathize enough the severity and the seriousness and the hurt that this pandemic can cause. So wear your mask, be safe. We can't stress that enough, Brian said. And you guys, they also have a GoFundMe. A GoFundMe has been set up for the family to raise more than $114,000. This pandemic, oh my God, you guys, like, so many people just dropping left and right. Like, this little boy only four years old, and he lost both of his parents. Like, how would anyone be able to cope with that? I mean... I mean, it's bad enough to lose one parent, but to lose two within a hundred days of each other. Like, I can only imagine what little man is going through. And the only hope now is to just pray, you know? Just pray because this is ridiculous. Like, see, this virus is like it's like a gun. It don't have names on it. Like bullets don't have names on it. This virus don't have names on it. This virus is not picking and choosing. You see what I'm saying? Like, at first when the virus started, it was like, oh, the most older people can be more, most vulnerable to it. But as you look at it, you know that's a damn lie because you got babies dropping. You see what I'm saying? So this virus ain't got no name. And the damn show ain't picking and choosing. So the only thing you can do, you know what I'm saying, in a situation like that is just try to stay safe, you know? Wear the masks. A lot of people don't like wearing masks. I'm one of them. I'm a hard head ass. Trust me. I'm hard head. I don't wear masks. You know? But I know I got a strong immune system, but I don't even know how far that's going to go anymore because, you know. But, yeah, just try to wear the masks, y'all. Try to social distance, you know? Just see, at this time, we're not only thinking about ourselves. We got to think about everybody that's around us because that's just being too fucking selfish to just keep sitting, sitting there thinking about ourselves. Like, that is so sad that this young man, four years old, and it's cute. He want to talk like his father, be like his father. You know what I mean? And if he had one wish, his wish was to bring his mother back. Like, that is just so heart dropping for real. Like, this pandemic, ain't it ain't nothing to play with, y'all. Like. I know at first when it first came out, everybody thought this shit was a game because I was one of them. Like, COVID-19. What the fuck is a COVID-19? You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's really not a game, y'all. Because I know a lot of people that didn't, you know, died off this virus. You know? I know a lot of people that didn't caught the virus and that didn't did everything right. Wearing masks. Social distancing. You see what I'm saying? Just staying in 87, they still somehow find some way to catch the virus. And one thing why I like to, you know, do my grocery shopping online because I don't like to be around a lot of people. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like to wear a mask. Like, I don't like to follow directions. You know what I mean? So, I try everything in my power to stay in my safe zone, if that makes any sense. Because I'm too fat for that shit. Like, I can't breathe in no motherfucking mask. Like... I can't breathe in that shit. I smoke cigarettes. Like, I, I just, it's too much for me, you know. But at the same time, I do have to, I do wear my mask when I have to wear my mask. I still have doctor's appointments. My baby had doctor's appointments, you know what I mean? So, yeah, y'all, I don't think y'all can do is try to do your part. That's, uh, that's it. That's it. It don't cost shit to do your part. Just do your part. Wear your mask. Social distancing. And cut down on them large gatherings. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. My heart goes out to this family, especially this young boy. I will always, I will pray for him. I will keep him in my prayers. I will keep him in my prayers. I definitely would. <clears throat> well, you guys, that's what I got on this story. And yeah, wear your mask. Do the right thing. And it's not, and just don't think of it as it's for yourself. No, you ha, you you're doing this to protect everyone, especially the most vulnerable people. So stop being selfish and just do the right thing. And maybe we could all come together and 
Maybe we could stop the virus. I mean, you know, maybe we can slow the spread. I'm not saying stop the virus because I don't know if that that's possible. But maybe we can find somewhere to slow the, the spread. And once again, like, that's wearing your mask. You know, just doing doing what you got to do. Make sure you're keeping your water, your hands washed. Me personally, I wash my hands at least like 15 seconds when I wash my hands. Like, I double scoop, you know, triple scoop with the soap, you know? So, <clears throat> I don't know, you guys. Let me know how you feel about this. This is a sad case for real. Like, I mean, a sad story. It really is. Like, he's only four years old, and it's something he got to live with the rest of his life. You know what I mean? And it's sad. I don't wish this on anyone. Like, I don't. So, you guys, let's just do what we have to do. Wear the mask, wash your hands, social distance. Until the next video, I'll see you then.